Okay, so for um, 9.1, um, we are going to be focusing on the Pythagorean Theorem. And you probably already know what that is. So, <clears throat> basically, if you have a right triangle, um, and we'll see how many units is this? One, two, three. So, uh, basically, what that formula is is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c. Actually, I don't need to write that there. C is the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is the longest side. So C is longest side. It's across from the 90 degree angle. Okay, and then A and B are kind of somewhat arbitrary. We'll talk more about that when we talk about the angles. Um, so there is another thing I want you guys to think about, and these are uh, what, what we call the common Pythagorean triplets. And these are integer numbers um, not triplets, they're called triples. These are integer numbers that that when I plug these numbers in, the most common one is like 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. So um, that would be 3, 4, 5 is the most common one. And the, the other one would be 6, 8, 10, 9, 12, 15, um, there's 5, 12, 13, uh, there's 8, 15, 17, uh, 7, 24, 25, and there's a whole bunch. There's an endless list of them. But if you notice, like this one, if you multiply everything by 2, you get this one. If you multiply this first one by three, you get this one. So you can multiply any of these by two, three, four, and you'll get the same ratios. Okay, so those are the common Pythagorean triples. And so what we're gonna do for example number one is we are going to solve, and this is not drawn to scale, but we're gonna solve this one. So this is 5 and this is 12 and we want to know what x is. Well remember that the hypotenuse is across from the 90 degree angle. So this is the letter C and this would be A and this would be B. Okay? So then to solve for C what I would need to do is I just plug that into the Pythagorean theorem and then solve for C. Um, so I would say a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In other words, um, I'd say 5 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. Or actually, we could say x squared. Okay. Now I know <clears throat> that this is the triple, so my answer should probably be 13. But we're going to crank through the math anyways and see what we get. So I'm going to multiply this out. I've got 5 times um, 5 is 25. 12 times 12 is 144. And then I just leave this as x squared. When I add those up, I get 169. And that equals x squared. But I want to know what x is, right? So I need to take the square root of both sides. That's how you undo a square. And I get 13 equals x. And that's it.